Hi guys, Kyung here, and we're here for our third page of our Christmas little easy peasy notebook. Um, and so I have an idea for today. So I cut this piece to just um, put on it, on it um, for the background. Um, so we're just gonna glue that down real quick. And um, oh, I do need to ink it. Except my ink and everything is on the table. Cause it shouldn't be. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's take our blue off. Oh no, the whole felt just came off that. As it does, it's because I'm always switching, switching my foam. So it's been so amazing seeing everyone's work. I'm again blown away. It's been so cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so cool. I, uh, the journals that are coming out now, right? Because, you know, it takes a little while to make a journal. So um, we're starting now to see some journals coming out and just beautiful, beautiful work. Beautiful work. Okay. We're going to put this down. It's been so hot. Oh, my gosh. So hot. Unbelievably hot. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And it's been so hot, so I was up really late last night really late. I'm up late most nights, but so it was like 3 a.m. or something <laughs> for me. And I'm up and I go outside with the dogs, you know, to let the dogs out. And it's so hot. It's, and I check and no kidding, it's like 73 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Just 73 degrees. And it was three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it was ridiculous. So it's going to be a hot one today. It's already hot. It's early early morning here and um, it's already hot so fun maybe I'll uh, run a cool bath and I'll just sit in it all day <laughs> I'll just become a polar bear for the day <laughs> um, okay so what I want to do is so we have this we have this I like this it has a little bit of like texture to it and it does look a little bit of fabric-y so I want to make a bag right we're gonna make a Santa Claus bag a big bag that's gonna hold lots of goodies and gifts let's not do that <laughs> let's put a mark cut it proper not mess up before we even start so yeah we're gonna cut out a little bag I mean right now it's just a square it will turn into a bag well I'm gonna attempt to of course I didn't I didn't practice this beforehand I don't <laughs> all right so if it's a bag let's say let's say it's the top of the bag right so let's say it comes up like this right here's our bag comes up like this right and then we want to give enough room to put like the cards in Right, well, we can always just glue it down from here, too. So, from here, we could just go like this. Ta-da! It's a bag. It's good enough. <laughs> it's, it's a good enough bag. Doesn't need to be perfect, right? I'm not the greatest drawer. <laughs> but we'll put, like, a twine around its, like, you fly... I had even checked down here and made sure that there was none. He was hiding. Hiding. <laughs> okay. Yay, it's a bag. It's it's a bag. Trust me when I say it's a bag. It kind of looks like a bag. We'll make it look like more like a bag. So let's put some pretty... We have all this stuff. Let's use some of this. Let's get into this, shall we? So let's use like a pretty, this one's pretty, this green. I really like that. I'm really liking the, the sparkly green. I like this green too. This one is thicker. Yeah, it's, we could go red though. We could go more, you know, traditional. It is a more traditional kind of, what about that? It's too much, I think too much about this this I think is the winner the winner 
I'm just going to cut a length of that. We'll put our bundle of goody, goody trims, pretty Christmassy trims away. Okay, let's do this. Let's, I think we're going to do it like this. Yeah, and I think I would use double-sided tape for this, except that it's so thin, and I don't have a double-sided tape that thin. Okay, so we have enough ribbon to make a bow. Um, let's use the Fabri-Tac, I think. If it wants to work today. It's pretty hot. <laughs> I'd already even just thinned it out the other day. Sometimes if I can, like, sometimes I'll hold it, and I'll get it to, like, my body temperature. Like, just work for me. Okay, we just need a little bit. We just need a little bit. Come on. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Where did our... Oh, here he is. <laughs> we found it. It didn't fly far. Okay. Stick this on there like that. And fold this back behind like that. Ta-da! We have a bag. Oh no. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's make a bow. So we're gonna tie knot because I have to tie knot first. Okay, tie knot. Okay, a loop. You know, I learned of a way to tie bows that was like kind of the florist's way to do them, but I forget, so we're going to do it like this. I'll have to ask my sister. She took a class where, you know, like a flower arranging class. It was just a short one, like a, I think it lasted a couple days um, just up at our local community college. And uh, it was just like a little class they were offering to residents and stuff. So she went and did that, and she learned all about, like, how to make, like, Thai florist bows, which was so cool. And then I forgot. It's actually really easy. I'll have to ask her to show me again so I can, so I can do it. Let's put the bow right there, and we can, you know, deal with the, well, snip our, um, our ends. It's a little... There. Okay. Oh no. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. Stick that bow. Come on. <laughs> Stick the bow. <laughs> Give it a little bit of pressure. I'll snip that one there. That one there. Oh, how pretty. Okay. So there is our bow. We do need to deal with this haunt. So plain. So I think what we'll do is we'll ink it. We shall ink it. Where is where's my red dauber? Where's my oh here it is. It's right here. It's right here. Always losing my daubers. It's because I never put them down in the same place, you know. I really should. So I feel like we could use some, maybe some like shadow, maybe up here in the, let's see if we can do that without messing it up. <laughs> I'm going to take my water brush, dump to dump my water brush. Make sure there's water. Okay. And I'm going to lift it right up out of my ink pad. I don't care if I get my ink pad a little bit of wet with water because they're water soluble. So sometimes you have to spray them anyway to get them, you know, if they dry out a little bit. So I'm hoping that we're able to like, oh, look. Let's put some, uh, maybe like, like this. I'm not a very good shadow person. I'm not, um, Again, I'm not the best artist, like painter, drawer. I have the hardest time with um, 
see, like that doesn't look right to me. I have the, I have the hardest time with uh, angles, right? So, for example, if the light is shining down like this, right? Perhaps we'd have like a little bit of a. I don't know. Just some dark, darkening. It kind of looks better. It looks a little better. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to leave it alone. I think it looks better than it did originally. Um, we could also like put something on the bag. We probably will like Merry Christmas or something like that. Or like a little star or something. Okay, let's glue this down. These little snowmans are cute on the back of the scrap. Cute little snowmans. So here's our Santa bag. It's a Santa bag and we're gonna fill it with gifts. Fill it with gifts. What do we have in here? We have this stamp. We have a snowflake. What is this one? You light up my life. A little star. I love this holly. We could put... Because we have holly in the background. What about this holly? I like this holly. Let's do it. Oh, it's connected. Wasn't expecting that. We're gonna cut that. I want this one. Okay, let's stick it on our make it work quilting block. Shall we stamp it in what color though? That's the question. We want it to stand out, right? We could try the white again. I really liked the way that that turned out last time. I have this white instead, but I don't think it's as you know prominent. Where did our white ink go? Oh, there it is. It's still out from the last time I used it. Okay. Did you dry out on me again? Or what's your story? Look at that. What is going on? Right? I just filled this like two days ago. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll look up, because it's kind of different ink, you know? It's not, oops, darn it, and it fell. Can I get you on there? Don't fall. <laughs> oh, I don't know how well that's going to come out. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> it's a little holly. Man, yeah, I don't know. It's supposed to be, it's a solvent ink. And it's supposed, it's like pretty good. Like I, it wasn't cheap. I'll say that. So, I don't know. Okay, uh, do do do. What are we doing now? I think we'll wait for this to dry and then maybe we'll go and color it in. Um, color that white in and let's make gifts. That's what I think. We should make gifts. So I have... Let's grab a cardstock. Shall we? I'll just grab a cream one. And, you know, we didn't glue down the... So we can make our gifts as big as we want. So let's make a tall gift. Okay. We'll make a tall gift and it'll poke up perhaps that far. Uh, we'll make a, like a wider one and then a couple of just standard same size ones. So let's see. Christmas gifts. Gifts. Okay, there's one. Okay, here's another one. We're gonna cut these. I'm gonna cut this one like 
this. So here's one gift. This one can be a little bit more of a rectangle, yeah? Different sort of box. We'll do one more, yeah? One more. It'll be a littler one. Okay. So we have our gifts. Our gifts ready to go. We have some other ones too, I guess, here we could use. All right, I might not do all these. <laughs> We're gonna move that to the side. So first I wanna decorate the presents with wrapping paper, yay! I have all these wrapping papers here. Look at this one. I love this one. So let's definitely use some of this. Oh, look at it, it's so wonderful. It might be vintage wrapping paper, I think. I'm thinking, looking at it. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, I'm gonna do it like this, and I'm gonna glue it with my art glitter glue so that we don't wrinkle, if possible, the wrapping paper. Wrapping paper can be kind of thin. It really doesn't like glue, I noticed. Um, it really does not like glue. Maybe I should have even used my like double-sided tape for this. We'll see how this one comes out. And then um, if it's wrinkled, we'll pull out the double-sided tape. Oh, oh, get over a little bit. Okay, you're good. You're good. Oh, I love it. And then we'll decorate it. We'll put some ribbon on it. Right, and there'll be little Christmas... Uh, there'll be little um, Christmas present uh, journaling cards. You know, it's funny. I can't ever talk and cut. I can talk and do a lot of things, right? I can chat and glue and stamp and blah and all the things. I can't talk and cut. I find I have the hardest time. Like, I don't know. A piece of my brain is like just really... <laughs> really wants to concentrate when I cut okay I love it so there's that one what other uh, wrapping paper do we have that we can wrap these gifts in I have this pretty poinsettia it's got the red and the green which kind of match our what we have going on with our journal although I love this would make a great actual page in a journal though is the thing so I may not use that um, here we go here we have this one this one's big enough big enough that I feel okay using using some of we'll do it again on this corner I love so one of the things I love about Christmas is wrapping presents I will buy presents just so that I can wrap them <laughs> Right? Like, around Christmas time, I'll ask my sister, I'll be like, so did you get anything for my husband? Do you want me to wrap it? <laughs> I'll wrap it. And I think it's, again, it has to do with the the paper, all the different pretty papers. I don't know. And then last year, I went nuts. I wrapped every present, and I decorated it. So, I took all my ribbons, and all my stickers, and like all my Christmas stuff that I used to make journals and stuff, and I used it, it's like I made little tags, and I made little, and I wrapped my all the presents up really fancy and pretty last year. <laughs> oh, that was an experience. Okay, so we have two, two Christmas presents. Let's go for a third. We have this pretty one with the birds. With the birds. Look at that, is that perfect? It is. Look at that. I wonder if we can get it. I hate to, like, lose any of them. I'm thinking, like, right here. That's what I'm thinking. Hopefully. Because I can't see through the paper. I don't want to... This wrapping paper is from the National Wildlife Federation. 
the National Wildlife. Oh, it looks like we'll cut off a little tiny bit of his tail, but we did pretty good. Wrapping presents. How is there not a Christmas song about wrapping presents? There's Christmas songs about everything. Everything. <laughs> but there isn't. Is there one? I don't think so. I love Christmas music. It gets stuck in my head year-round. It does. Oh, look at how cute. He's more of a little journaling card than a present, but that's fine. I like him. Uh, we have this. And what is this one? This one is very blue. Very pretty. I think let's stick with the red and the green. We'll use this little happy little penguin. It even says happy holidays. It's a happy penguin. Is it directional? Does it go this way? It does. Okay. I have these little tiny little tags we can hang off of our thing too. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Put it on there a little wrong. Oh well. I mean, they're just going to get opened up on Christmas anyway. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. How cute. Little penguins. All right. We can ink them really quickly. I'm thinking in green. I suppose I could alternate. I could do two in green and two in red. Let's complicate it. Let's do this one in green, definitely. Cut that white off. Okay. And we'll do this one, this one in green. And we'll do the other two in red. And then we'll put pretty ribbons on them. And you know, decorate our presents. Put little labels on them. It's that little guy. And this go away fly. Nobody likes you. <laughs> So annoying. But at least we don't have too many bad mosquitoes this year, which I'm very happy about because last year we had really bad mosquitoes. So, but we have a little bats I've noticed fly around a lot, so I think they kind of deal with that problem. All right. So let's put ribbons and stuff. Um, let's grab our little box, our little box of, and we also have. These. So I'd like to grab some of these out. These I die cut. Um, spent a lot of time die cutting all these because I don't have multiple little tag, right? I had to run that through. <laughs> I like the gold. I like, let's use some of this. This is some of that ribbon Lisa sent me. Right? Let's put some across up like this. And then one across like this. Okay, I'm gonna use my art glitter glue because it is a very thin piece of ribbon and my Fabri-Tac is being, is just being today, you know? <laughs> It just doesn't, it's tired, it doesn't want to do anything, and so, and you know, I'm fine with that. It can have a break. Everything deserves a break. <laughs> Wouldn't want it to get burnt out or anything. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Perhaps I should have folded them back, but we're going to use them for, like, journaling, so... Okay, let's 
fold that over like that. Oh, how pretty. Yay. A present. Okay, we can. I have these little red bows, right? But it doesn't really go, does it? They're red. I don't want to tie another bow. I don't want to. We'll do it anyway. I think it really needs one. You know what we could do? We could do something like this. What if we do something like this? We'll go like this. We'll go like this. Right? Then we'll wrap this one up around like that. And then we have like, I don't know how this is going to work. How does that look for like a loopy bow? A loopy bow, as it is a present. Yes, we could do one more loop. Like that. Okay, now the trick is to glue it down. Let's kind of glue it. I kind of want it. To, if I can get it to sit like this, I would really like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab it like that. Stay for me, stay. Should I use my, I think we're really gonna have to use the Fabri-Tac this time. It just is what it is. Come on. I don't have all day. <laughs> Stick you on there. <laughs> That's kind of fancy, huh? A little fancy bow on our gift. It looks like a gift. Okay, really kind of pressing down on that. Does it need anything else? We could put a button. Have a little button. I have this little green flower button. It doesn't really go. I have these bling. You could just leave it. Yeah. Could put a gem on it, or we could leave it. I think I'll leave it. Um, we'll put a little tag on there. Right, like that. And it'll, be, it'll say to and from. We'll even write on it. Uh oh, I'm gonna write on it. <laughs> I should have like threaded it through the thing, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I have? It's okay, I think I'll just glue it on there and it'll simulate the look that it's threaded through, yeah? Let's write. make sure that this works. It, not really. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. What is this pen? This is a brush. I'm going to mess that up if I use the brush for sure. Oh, look, I have my, here we go. I have my micro pen, Micron, Pigma Micron 8. Yeah, that'll be better. So we're just gonna write to and from. And be good. We're gonna glue this on to our present. Sometime today. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Ta -da. 
it's our first gift and I'll probably decorate the other ones off screen because they did take a little bit right oh how pretty I love it right we have this long one that'll sit in there like that how cool so yeah I'll make bows and tags and ribbons for all of them and then that will be awesome and then one other thing I think I want to do on this page is I have these like wooden um these like little wooden wreaths and I think I want to put one up here on the corner like that yeah and I'm going to use my uh my mixed media adhesive Aileen's come on I hate how it squeegees out like that every time I open it it's annoying I just don't know and I can't find I can't even find an E6000 one that has you know the little metal tip the little like needle tip they're all the ones you have to uh, cut and then it's too thick of a you know a hole or too big of a hole and then I just all wants to flow out of there <laughs> okay stick this down there pretty and we'll have all our presents in there it will be so cool see and this one this one I might know too much too right I might just put a bow on this one just put a bow on him like that and be done. I don't want to cover him with ribbon, you know. So we'll just stick a bow on him. If this were a real present, like a real Christmas present, I would die to know what was in it. I'd be like, what's in it? What's in it? Because <laughs> it's cute. Okay, our, our um, bag full of gifts, that's what it is. We can color this in. Um, I have, what do I have? My watercolors, that's what I have handy. Oh, I, I am so sorry, that was so ridiculous. Let's just do some green. Ooh, is this not gonna stick? I wonder. It looks like kind of watery proof to me. Doesn't it? Wow, it is. Look at that. Wow. Okay. That Stazon opaque stuff is like resistance. It's like a um, water resistant. That's really interesting. One could do interesting things with that. Um, I bet my alcohol markers would work. <laughs> I bet they would. I bet it won't be able to resist my... What are these? Writer. Pigment ink. Photo safe. Zig. Ooh, that's dark. Ooh, very dark. Very, very dark. I'm not going to ruin my brush. That would ruin my brush. Just kind of blend it. What about this one? This one may be better, huh? The screen? Perhaps better? Oh, much better. That other green was so dark. Oh, yeah, this is working. These are now alcohol ink. I think these are just like pigment ink markers, these ones. Oh, I like them. I've never really played with them. I wouldn't know, I don't really know how to use like the different pens, right? All the different markers. I'm a little lost when it comes to markers, but I'm trying to learn as I go, right? Kind of learn as you do. Do we have a red? What is this? Cranberry. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Oh my gosh. It's so dark. Oh, it's going to blend right into that background too. Look at that. 
Oh, well. Looks better than the white that it was, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, it's fine. I love it. I love my little bag with our um, with our presents. I suppose one more thing. I can look and see if we have a little saying or something that can go on. I think I even have gifts. Look at that. I have gifts. Let's do that. We'll just put gifts on there. Gifts. It's a little large. I think I'll cut it down. There we go. That's better. That's more like manageable. Come on. Come on, glue. Gifts. Our third page gifts. And we won't worry about a journaling card in this video. We'll do one next video. But there it is, our third page. Yay! A sack full of presents to give to all the boys and girls on Christmas morning. Um, so maybe what we'll do on the next page is we'll have the kids, right, enjoying the gifts or, you know, unwrapping the presents or the, maybe the one dancing around the tree or we'll figure something out. So... There we go. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, Merry Christmas in July. <laughs> Bye.